The Adventures of Jungle Jim. A complete radio episode based on the characters and action pictures of the same name which appear every Sunday in the Comic Weekly. Led by Jim and Colonel Sing Lee of the Chinese Army, a daring band of United Nations guerrilla fighters are at work in conquered Malaya. Their objective is to disrupt local Japanese plans through sabotage and swift assaults. To this end, the party has received wireless orders to rendezvous with an American submarine near the mouth of the Sedili River, dangerously close to Jap-infested Singapore. In a flotilla of large native canoes called Prahus, the raiders meet the sub, which delivers some precious landmines. These mines are to be taken 100 miles inland and used to destroy a new Jap airfield. The mission is extremely dangerous and on the surface impossible, for the Japs hold Malayan waters and Malaya itself in a grip of steel. No one realizes this better than Jim and Kolo, who are in the lead canoe. The darkness is their only ally. <laughs> Landmines in bottom of canoe make going slow, Transium. Don't talk too loud, Cole. Huh? The voices carry on the water. We've been Sing Lee and, and, and Sergeant Matt. Their canoes are right behind us. Mission Tom Son, too. Landmines pretty heavy. Hope us get across sandbars at mouth of river. We will, Cole. Jap Sea Patrol no bother us so far. But Jap's got river patrol, too. Hey, relax, will you? Just as much on edge as you are. Hope oh, Misha's careful not to get those fuses wet. River, not been far now. Good thing. Sky getting light. Yeah. We'll have to hide during the day and only travel at night. Take plenty long for reach Gehang Bumut country. This way, Trent. Uh, we don't have to go all the way in the mountain, Kolo. We've got five nights to make it. Twenty mile each night. Crazy thing, boy. Well, we got to show the chaps that isn't so crazy. Colonel help us part of the way in. Colonel help us part of the way in. Colonel help us part of the way in. Colonel help us part. Look, Colu. Huh? Off to stop at a searchlight. Jet patrol. They spotted us. Mister, shooting back. Yeah, never get the searchlight that way. Hand me that Garand rifle, Colu. Here. You have not been able to aim. I've got to. You ran on top of us in a minute. Steady now. Oh, I missed it. Wait a minute. One, you got bullseye. Had a colo. Our only chance is to head for those sandbars and pray the river patrol didn't hear the fireworks. This adventure is only beginning for Jungle Jim, as we'll see in just a moment. You know, besides Jungle Jim, the Comic Weekly brings you over two dozen of your other favorite features. Its pages are crammed with mystery, suspense, melodrama, yes, and chuckles, too. That's why the sparkling, full-color pages of the Comic Weekly make Sunday morning adventure time. That's why 15 million readers, grown-ups and youngsters alike, have made the Comic Weekly America's favorite funnies. That's why 15 of the nation's top-ranking Sunday papers are its distributors. Read the Comic Weekly yourself. Let it brighten up your own Sunday morning, beginning this week. If you do, you'll make a habit of it from then on a habit that will bring you excitement and an entertainment the whole year through. Just look for the figure of Puck and the name The Comic Weekly at the top of the front page. Now, back to this week's radio adventure starring Jungle Jim. Can I give you a hand, Misha? Yeah, Jim. We are managing. Those canoes weigh something with... The mine's still in them. Uh, Uncle Lee. Be still, Tom Son. But listen. Hey, Jim. Hey, hey. Such words are the brain of the young jackass. The jackass at least has ears to listen with, oh, ancient one. Yeah, skip the family feud, Tom Son. What's on your mind? Kolo and I copped the gander from the beach, Jim. Any sign of that Jap patrol boat? Plenty, brother. Its signal light is blinking like a pinball machine. Tom Son, offspring of my revered sister Meeling. Your words are as meaningless to me as a crackle of the barnyard. Here, take it easy, Sam. Were there any answering signals, Tom? No. Kolu says they're signaling to shore. And to the river patrol, probably. Telling them to pick us up. Uh, it is as we predicted, then. And if they should search the jungle here... We'll be waiting for them, Sam. Quiet. All of you. Listen there. 
Chap River Patrol, all right. Thompson, bring a Tommy gun. Okay. You too, monsieur. The rest of you stay here and guard these canoes. Uh, we will attend to this end, Jim. Now, make your sound. Hold it now. We can cover the river from here. There. There. I hear, but I do not see. That shadow on the river, monsieur. Holy Toledo. What a setup. Put your gun down, kid. We want to avoid trouble for the moment. Oh. There's searchlight. They are playing it along the riverbanks. You shot the other one out, Jim. Quiet. Why not? Don't move now. These bamboos will cover us. You hope. Stand still. They are coming. Spell each other on guard duty during the day. At sunset, we'll start up river. Gonna take a long time to travel a hundred miles, Gate. It'll be worth it, Tom. Get those landmines where they'll do the most good. We'll be safe enough in the jungle during the day. And the river patrol can't use the river after 50 miles or so. So our job is to get the first half of the trip over with as safely as possible, even if it takes more time. How long has Misha been gone, Jim? Not quite six minutes, Saint. Time enough to take care of that sentry. It's Mac I'm worried about. He hasn't had the experience that Mission and Kolo have had at commando tactics. Well, you should have let me go, Jim. No, we need you here, Tom, to help with these landmines. Oh, I dig you. I only hope those native fifth columnists gave us the right dope on how many Jap sentries there are. They hate the Japs as much as we do, Tom. Not if Kolo's right about that native big shot. Well, if he was going to inform on us, he'd probably have done it by now. It took us five nights to get here. That's just what I'm worried about. Here, I'll give you a hand with this mine. You have the fuses, Uncle Lee? Yeah, I have. And the knowledge of how to use them. Awkward things to handle, aren't they? Yeah. Just think what they'll do to this airfield, though. Uh, let me break trail for you. <laughs> Any sign of mission? I think I see him lying on the ground up ahead. We're almost in the clearing, Jim. Oh, wait. Misha has seen us. He says to stop. He's crawling this way. Something's wrong. Stay there, all of you. Take no move. Uh, what is it, Misha? There is another sentry. Did he see you? Yet. He would have fired. What about the one you took care of? Easy. They will not find him. Wait, Misha. There's the other one. Walking this way. This is going to throw our whole time schedule off. We see. You wait here. That sentry's getting hep, Jim. Look how he cooks his head to one side. That will be Kolo. Well, but what about Misha? I don't see him anywhere, and that sentry's... Ah, Your knife, Misha, quickly! Ah. All right. Now, let's make up for this delay. What about the Australian? He heard it too, see? There goes his bunch. This way. Over here, Jim. Let me help you with that mine. Wait. Did you hear? Yeah, and it means that Mac's okay, too. Sing... Take a fuse over to the Australian and bring some of his ditch diggers back with you. Da. So we are planting seeds to bring in big harvest of jobs. <laughs> so soon as comes morning, we are having grandstand seed for fun when job planes arrive and find big surprise waiting for them. This mission has been made. I've been getting light on Jim. Yeah, I know it, Colo. A naval headquarter communique said a squadron of Jap bombers was due here at dawn this morning to activate this field. We've got all the mines planted but one. It won't take long. We can't risk it, Tom. All right, men. Stop your work. Scatter. We'll meet in that grove of resack trees at the far end of the field. Wind been from North Twan. Planes will come in from this end. Yeah. Mission Thompson. Yeah. Take that last landmine with you. Hey, where's Sing Lee? He said he was going to prowl around by the Jap outbuildings, Jim. He what? Singly, no fool, Jim. He knows meeting place. Also, he's seeing sky same like us. Mm, let's hope so, Misha. Give Colo those wire spurties. Da. Uh. Seeing Lee doesn't show up before the fun begins, me have tackled a bigger job than any of us expected. Because I'm not leaving here until I know what's happened to him.
That sun's getting higher than a kite, Jim. Yeah, it's not a sign of a Jap plane so far. Or Sing Lee, either. Oh, don't worry about Unc. When he gets an idea in his noggin... You strange young fella, Tom, son. You Chinese like Sing Lee. Same family, even. But you, you no talk like him. <laughs> don't let that throw you, Kolo. Throw me? <laughs> Tom here was born and educated in America, Kolo. Uh, not talk much educate. Oh, you just don't dig the jive, Kolo. Uh, not know what this mean, but you're right. Right, back in Fresno... Hold it. We... Hmm? Listen to that. Leaves been too thick to see. Sound like whole squadron, though. Chap, too. And how about the sound, if nothing else? Chip, Chip, climb up here to top of three with me. Can't see good. How many are there, monsieur? I am counting eleven up to now. Wait, there is more. Oh, why doesn't Sing Lee show up? I'm not leaving here without him, and once those planes begin landing... Them begin, eh, but them not finished one. But why doesn't he come? If you mean my humble self, you are question his answer. Sing, where the Sam Hill of oh, your pain? Please, please, you are concerned. He is both flattering and understandable, my friend. But my eavesdropping has disclosed more vital matters. So you copped a sneak on what the Japs are up to, hey, young? Alas, that one's relatives like one's deaths are always pleasant. Yeah, those planes are circling the land all right, Colo. Better us go now, Tuan. No, no. When the party begins, we'll leave in the confusion. Oh, where are the others? Yeah. Hiding in these trees, same as we are, Sam. So, the bad penny is home again, is Ah, Misha. My news will soon erase your grin, I fear. Something go wrong, Sing? Uh. We will know the answer to that question if those Japanese bombers actually land. Well, what are you talking about? Kolo feared the village chieftain was a quizzling. He was right. The old villain is with the Japanese commandant at this moment. But there's uh, Kolo not surprised. Well, that means we can't use the canoes. The Japs will be looking for him. And we'll have to get away from here through the jungles. No, no, Jim. We will not be leaving. Because I have also... Excuse me, Singh. Keep your eye on those planes. They're coming in, all right. Hey, watch them now. Why, it looks like they're making a unison landing. Ah, this mission is liking all of them at once. Uh, excellent, excellent. See, the leader is landing now. Yeah. The second one touching the ground, too. And number three... Never mind that, Tom. Watch the first one. He's taxiing toward the hangars right across the place where we planted the mine. Good, good. And the others cannot stop. Watch, watch. Now we're cooking with gas. Talk about your 4th of July. Every one of them. Look at that, Colo. The ones that didn't hit the mines pile into each other. Oh, so, the first part of our mission is accomplished. But the second part... What's that, Sing? What second part? You are friends. The American pilot, Shorty Weir, is a prisoner at this valley base, Jim. And unless we can stop them, the Japanese will execute him at noon today. Still other adventures with Jungle Jim are waiting for you every Sunday in the thrilling pages of the Comic Weekly. And you'll find Flash Gordon there, too. And Tim Tyler, the Phantom, Prince Valiant, the Lone Ranger. Over two dozen of them. No wonder 15 million folks look forward to the Comic Weekly every Sunday. Its all-star feature spells surefire entertainment for everyone. Why not let that include you? It comes to you with 15 of the nation's leading Sunday papers from coast to coast. Just look for the figure of Puck and the name The Comic Weekly at the top of the front page. And join us again next week for another radio adventure starring Jungle Jim. Jungle Jim.